In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to get your fish to stop hiding. This is a very common question in the hobby today, and there's a variety of reasons of why your fish might be hiding, and there are some ways to prevent that and get them to come out more often. So let's dive right in. So just in general, fish do seem to hide whenever they're stressed, scared, or uncomfortable, and that can be for a variety of reasons. We're gonna walk through about 10 different topics which may be causing your fish to hide too often. My brothers and I focus heavily on keeping cichlids, but this could really pertain to most fish in the hobby today. So if your fish is hiding out, the first thing I would check is your water quality. That means doing multiple tests on your ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates, because if there are ammonia or nitrites in the aquarium, it could be stressing out your fish, which leads to them hiding often. Or if your nitrates are very high for a sustained period of time, that could also cause them to be uncomfortable and to hide out in your tank. So the priority is definitely not to have ammonia or nitrate in your tank. So if you have any of those popping up on your test kit, I would act fast to make sure you can get your tank up to its full cycle. And if your nitrates are high, I would maybe cut back on your feeding or increase the amount of water changes on your tank. And then lastly in this category, I would make sure the temperature in your tank is suitable for the fish that you're keeping. That means doing research on the type of fish you have and making sure the temperature range that is currently going on in your tank is suitable for them. Also, if you have temperatures in your tank on the colder end, maybe in your low 70s for a tropical fish, sometimes that will cause your fish to be more lethargic and hide out a little more often. So the second obvious reason for fish to be hiding out is either being sick or injured. So starting with the sick or illness option here, if your fish is sick from some type of external parasite like ick, or if they have internal parasites where they have bloat, or if they're not eating, this will definitely lead to them hiding out in the tank more often. So I would just make sure to examine your fish if it is hiding out a lot, and if you do see anything that's actually wrong with it in terms of sickness, I would try and treat for that as soon as possible. And then if it is an injury, I would just identify the issue, whether it was spooked and ran into something, or if it's a tank mate and you need to change something up in the tank, whether that's taking out that fish or the bully in the tank. So we talked about testing your water, making sure your water quality is up to par, identifying if your fish is sick or injured. The third thing is just to know the type of fish that you're keeping. Sometimes the type of fish itself will lead to them hiding out more often, including something like the pleco, catfish, or a lot of your loaches. They will definitely hide out more often, it's just in their nature. And a lot of these types of fish will actually be more nocturnal, and when the lights are out in your tank, they'll be more active and swimming around. I have an exotic pleco in my 150 gallon tank that I literally never see. It was kind of a waste of money, even though when I do see him at times, he really is a showstopper. So just make sure to do your research when you're buying your fish so that you know if you're getting one that does hide out a lot. And if you still wanna go for it with something like a clown loach, which can be a really cool fish when it does come out, definitely go for it, but just know what you're getting into before you buy. So now that you know the type of fish that you have and if your fish is acting abnormally and hiding out more than its species normally would, that's when I would look at the decor itself and maybe rearrange things in the tank to see if that changes its behavior. You'd be surprised what moving a piece of driftwood or a few rocks around the tank would do to bring out those fish a little bit more. They might be comfortable in a hiding spot that is not visible when you're looking at the tank, but if you move the decor around, it might still hide out a little bit you could still see it when it's hiding. For instance, if you have a cave structure that has an opening towards the front of the tank, you could still see them hanging out there even if they're not coming out and swimming around a lot. So just try and rearrange the decor and see if that helps. And if it doesn't, try adding more decor to the tank. This is kind of counterintuitive because adding more hiding spots to the tank actually leads to the fish being more comfortable and swimming around more freely. I was surprised when I added more driftwood and rocks to one of my South American cichlid tank setups, how much more comfortable they were knowing that they could swim back and retreat into those hiding spots if they needed to. Take my 180 gallon aquarium as an example. There's plenty of driftwood, rocks, and fake plants in this tank, which provides a lot of different territories and hiding spots if they need it. And the result is that the fish are always out and about. They're always greeting me. I've never had issues with any of the South American cichlids hiding in this tank. So when it comes to decor, try to rearrange it some or add more decor to the tank. You'd be surprised at how much more often the fish will come out. Another great way to make your fish feel more comfortable and bring them out of hiding more is to add dither fish to your tank. Dither fish are usually some type of schooling fish that provides a lot of activity to the mid or upper levels of your tank. And because they're swimming around so actively, 
it leads to your bigger fish like your cichlids that may be hiding out it makes them feel more comfortable they see the fish swimming freely and they know it's okay for them to come out as well so if you have a tank set up with just a couple cichlids and they're hiding out try and get some of your bigger tetras or barbs something that will school and swim around in your tank and sometimes that will bring your cichlids or other fish out of their hiding spots more often. Some great dither fish options out there are your Colombian tetras, your Congo tetras, your bleeding heart tetras, anything that's your mid to large size tetras or barbs, I would definitely think would be a good option here. Just do your research on the type of dither fish you're adding so that you're not adding anything that's too small and might get eaten by some of your other bigger tank mates. Another thing people might not think about when their fish is hiding is just the tank setup and layout itself. Sometimes if you create a more natural environment for your fish, again, that will make them feel more comfortable and that will make them act more naturally. Looking at a few of my tanks as an example, for my African cichlids, the peacocks are open water swimmers and they really enjoy that open space and they always swim back and forth. If I had too much decor in this tank, they would claim those territories they would likely fight over them, and they would likely hide out a little bit more. But then when you look at my South American tanks, there's so many hiding spots, there's way more structure and decor, and that's by design to give them those hiding spots so they feel comfortable, and then they swim out and about more often. They are two different styles of tank setups, but you just need to do your research on the type of fish that you have and what their natural environment might be, and then try and mimic that the best you can. Another common issue with fish hiding out is maybe being bullied too much by a fish in the tank. And that kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier with injuries. Just sit there and watch your tank for a while and see if any type of tank mate is harassing them, fighting them, picking at them. And that could likely be the reason that that fish is injured or hiding out because it's been bullied. If that's the case, I would recommend having a backup option, especially if you're keeping cichlids, having a backup tank to either pull out the injured fish or removing the fish that is bullying the others and moving him to a different tank. And along similar lines to that is just having inappropriate tank mates can lead to other fish hiding. For instance, if you did have some really big fish mixed with some really small fish at the bottom of your tank, those small guys at the bottom might be terrified of the larger fish in the tank and therefore they're hiding out more often even if the larger fish aren't that aggressive. So I would just keep that in mind, try not to mix the sizes of your fish too much to where you'll have very large differences in the smallest and biggest fish in the tank. Another suggestion is if your fish are hiding, I would try dimming your lights. Sometimes if fish have bright lights on them, they'll just wanna get out of that limelight and try and find somewhere that's shaded and covered so that they're not super exposed. You'll see in my South American cichlid tanks that the lights are a little bit dimmer because that's what makes the cichlids more comfortable. And with that dimmer lighting, it not only mimics their natural environment, but it makes them more comfortable in the tank and they come out way more often. And then the last thing I would look at if your fish are constantly hiding is just where the tank is in your home. If they're in a very high traffic area, they could be hiding just because they're spooked from all that movement around the tank. Even my tanks in my basement, if I walk up to them too quickly, the cichlids will scatter away, but then once they realize they're in no harm, they'll come back up to me and they'll realize maybe they'll get some food. But I did have a tank years back that was in a really bright room, but something about the sunlight coming in or the different movements around the tank, the fish were always hiding and spooked. But as soon as I moved that tank to a different area, those fish were no longer spooked, they were not hiding often, they were out and about way more. So after you look into the first nine things we talked about, look into moving your aquarium to a different spot in your house and you might have a little more luck getting your fish to come out of hiding. So I hope that information was helpful and that your fish come out of hiding more often and that you can enjoy them and watch them swim around in your tank peacefully. If you'd like to see some tips of how to make your aquarium look better, click this video here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.